was reading in the New York Times, being the New Yorker that I am, that there was a story about college girls that would rather have a hookup buddy than actually find a boyfriend. Okay. And people are acting all crazy about this. They're upset. And the reason why, I guess, is they just think like, oh, you know, college girls okay. should be nice girls. And well, for me, please define a hookup. Oh, I like that question. Because I don't know. You're right. Really, Tamara? Yeah. Like, a hookup is just when you're hooking up. You just, because, you know, I mean, are you just kissing? Are you just hugging? A one-night stand. A one-night stand, something not too serious. You go out to dinner sometimes. A hookup. Uh, I think yeah. what's bothering yeah. people about this is that guys have been having hookups all along. And now that women are coming out and saying, you know what, I just want to have a good time. I don't want any emotions attached. I'm trying to focus on my math class in college. I'm trying to, you know, get a career together. And I don't want to have a boyfriend where, you know, you can't make it to class because you're crying because you broke up. Exactly. Ain't nobody got time Ooh, for that. Ain't nobody got time for at that. At all. I'm trying to get a degree. I feel you, ladies. Well, I you know what? That's, this just lets me know when I was in college, I must have been thinking like a man because I had hookup buddies all the time. <laughs> all right. Exactly. <laughs> with an engineering degree and a minor Whoa. in music. Oh. 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 But let me just tell you, <laughs> and now I'm moderating a talk show, so that tells oh. you something, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. My whole thing, you know, with college and women, I mean, I'm not trying to sound, you know, a little crass, but it's just a, <laughs> it's a good time to be a hoe. <laughs> My whole thing, you know, with college and women, I mean, I'm not trying to sound, you know, a little crass, but it's just a, <laughs> it's a good time to be a hoe. <laughs> My whole thing, you know, with college and women, I mean, I'm not trying to sound, you know, a little crass, but it's just a, <laughs> it's a good time to be a hoe. <laughs> Reality check, Jack. See, at these different colleges, these different HBCUs, where you're sending your daughters to, where your old lady go at, where you think you're going to find your wife and find a girlfriend, a good wholesome woman, bruh, it's a bunch of fucking, sucking, drugging, thugging, drinking, partying, going on. It's a bunch of hoes at those schools. Them black, Latino, Native American women, all them women are a bunch of hoes. You heard what the woman said. You heard what these women saying. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus 26 and verse 12. And I want to go straight to the point I want to hit on at that last line. It says, by every hedge will she sit down. Now, man is the hedge, you know. It's a uh, fortress, it's a defense, it's an enclosure, it's a protection. Your man is your protection. So she's sitting down by, by every hedge available. Anybody that show, shows her attention, you dig? She gonna be doing this. And open her quiver against every arrow. Getting busted open. You got orgies taking place. You got uh, trains taking place. You got, you, you dig? You got, uh, lesbian and carpet munching going on. Women getting turned out. It's a bunch of strap-ons and all kind of wild-ass shit going on on these college campuses. Your daughter come back with a damn tongue ring. She got, uh, piercing in the eyebrow. Nipples pierced and clip pierced and, you dig, tattoos and shit everywhere. Yay. Yeah. To the point where she stopped coming home and all that. To the point where she ended up probably even getting knocked up. Not finishing school. What she so-called went there to do. So-called went there to do. You know? And debt. Now your ass in debt. And now your ass got to deal with it. The parents got to deal with that. You know? Uh, they even finish their, their education. If they even finish it, it means nothing because they still don't got a man. They got a career, but no man. Pfft. What's going on is very, very sick, you know. And it's not it's, it's not hard at all, you know. You take your grant money, your loan money, you know, go get you a whip, keep your haircut, clothes, shoes, and then go to campus and go to, and go to stunting. You dig? Show these hoes some attention, you dig? And 
Next thing you know, you're in the apartment. You're in the dorm room making shit happen. You dig? These women are a bunch of hoes. And that's why we say that women need to be in arranged marriages. Let's go to the book of Ecclesiasticus 7 and verse 25. It says, marry thy daughter. That's what the parents are supposed to do. That's what the fathers of the Israelite men the, the, that's what we supposed to be doing Marrying our daughters off These women don't have the mind To go and choose No man To be vetting That's why they deal with Four and five and six niggas At, at, a, at a time Bust it all open You know It says Marry thy daughter And so shalt thou have performed A weighty matter But give her to a man of understanding Meaning we supposed to be marrying our daughters off. Your children are supposed to be in arranged marriages, not going out there trying to figure out shit on their own. Because all your daughter's going to become is a bunch of hoes. Fucking, sucking, thugging, and drinking, and partying. That's what's going on, you know, and getting knocked up. You dig?